Here is this free skid steer loader, CPCS Blue Card, Renewal Mock Test. It contains 15 questions similar to what you'd get on the official NOCN Pearson View touchscreen test. I will first read the question and then give you a few seconds before I reveal the correct answer. Ready? Let's go! One, why faults, no matter how minor, should be reported? A, to avoid paperwork. B, to improve operator comfort. C, to prevent accidents and injuries. D, only if they affect the machine's appearance. Correct answer, C, to prevent accidents and injuries. Two, why the loader arms must be lowered before entering or exiting the cab? A, to ensure safety and avoid unintentional machine movement. B, to increase fuel efficiency. C, to save time. D, to improve operator visibility. Correct answer, A, to ensure safety and avoid unintentional machine movement. 3. What is the potential consequence of failing to properly check a skid steer before work? A. Improved machine performance. B. Increased operator efficiency. C. Injuries or near misses. D. Reduced operating costs. Correct answer, C, injuries or near misses. 4. Why is reversing considered a significant risk in workplace safety? A. It is the fastest mode of vehicle operation. B. It improves efficiency in tight spaces. C. It often leads to accidents, injuries, and fatalities. D. It requires less operator attention. Correct answer, C. It often leads to accidents, injuries, and fatalities. 5. What safety precautions should be taken when working near to an embankment or edge? A. Ignoring the proximity of the edge. B. Providing suitable barriers to prevent machine overruns. C. Reducing machine speed near edges. D. Wearing a seatbelt. Correct answer. B. Providing suitable barriers to prevent machine overruns. 6. What guidance source should operators refer to for information on minimum distances from overhead power lines? A. Operator's Manual B. Local Regulations C. E. Manufacturer's Recommendations D. Energy Network's Utilities Guidelines Correct answer, D, Energy Network's Utilities Guidelines. 7. Why is the compact size of skid steer loaders advantageous in certain work environments? A. It allows for faster travel speeds. B. It provides more lifting capacity. C. It enables efficient excavation of large areas. D. It allows operation in restricted and confined areas. Correct answer. D. It allows operation in restricted and confined areas. 8. 
What could occur when limited operator visibility coincides with reversing in confined areas with other equipment and people moving? A. Increased safety risks. B. Enhanced operator comfort. C. Improved machine performance. D. Reduced fuel consumption. Correct answer, A. Increased safety risks. Nine, why is it important to use gentle control movements, especially during turns, in skid steers? A, to increase operator comfort. B, to save on fuel costs. C, to enhance the machine's appearance. D, to prevent machine overturn. Correct answer, D, to prevent machine overturn. Ten. What is the primary purpose of visually and physically checking that latches are fully engaged and locked after attaching an accessory? A. To increase fuel efficiency. B. To save time during work. C. To prevent potential accidents and injuries. D. To document the attachment chains for record keeping. Correct answer, C, to prevent potential accidents and injuries. 11. What measures should be taken to prevent collisions with nearby workers? A. Increasing machine speed. B. Lowering the loader arms. C. Communicating through the cab's windows. D. Segregating machine movements from pedestrians. Correct answer, D, segregating machine movements from pedestrians. 12. What risk is associated with driving a skid steer up a slope with the bucket in the raised position? A, tipping backward due to a higher and rear bias center of gravity. B, increased speed. C, improved stability. D. Enhanced operator comfort. Correct answer. A. Tipping backward due to a higher and rear bias center of gravity. 13. What could happen if a minor fault, such as chafing of a hydraulic hose, is not reported and addressed promptly? A. The operator's performance may improve. B. The fault may get worse, possibly leading to injury. C. The machine will work faster. D. The machine's efficiency will be unaffected. Correct answer. B. The fault may get worse, possibly leading to injury. 14. Why the fitting of an oversized bucket can be hazardous? A. To enhance operator comfort. B. To improve fuel efficiency. C. It has no effect on machine operation. D. Reduce stability and limited operator visibility. Correct answer, D, reduce stability and limited operator visibility. 15. What could happen if a skid steer is not handled carefully when the weight is biased towards the rear? A, the machine will work more efficiently. B, the operator will experience less fatigue. C. The machine may tip backward, potentially causing an accident. D. The machine will become more stable.
Correct answer, C, the machine may tip backward, potentially causing an accident. So, this was the last question of this free mock test. If you made it this far, I guess you're about to take the dreaded CPCS renewal test and there are no other study materials except the long and boring fact sheet. Some people have failed this multiple times. Like my brother who is not the brightest tool in the shed. But I still love him. Enough in fact to create a whole bunch of multiple choice questions from his category fact sheet. And guess what? He finally passed. That gave me the idea of creating similar mock test questions and answers for each and every category. Very tedious work, but it's worth it if it helps you study and pass the damn test to extend your blue card for five more years. If you wish to be fully prepared, then you have the option of purchasing my ebook which contains the full bank of questions based on the official NOCN fact sheet. Note that these questions are not exactly the same in the official test, but they will be similar and based on the same information from the fact sheet. So instead of learning the exact questions and answers by heart, apply logic to the answers and use these multiple choice questions to learn more efficiently for your CPCS Blue Card Renewal Touchscreen Test.